I believe if you don't know a little history, you miss out in advancing. From point A, that's how you get to point B, is knowing some history. Hi, I'm Unique Jones Gibson. And I'm Butch Jones. And this is A Grand Time. All right, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you some pictures and we're just gonna talk about how things have evolved over time. But I wanna get the gems and the jewels from you and then I also got some gems and some jewels that I wanna share. Is that good? It's good with me. What's that? A rotary telephone. All right, so tell me what comes to mind when you see it, the rotary telephone. Well, having a rotary telephone um, allowed you to remember a lot of phone numbers. Um, I could remember at least 50 phone numbers. And today I can't remember 10. Do you think that remembering phone numbers back in the day helped to facilitate like community? I think it kept you a little sharp. Having a cell phone today, you're not as sharp as you was back then. You know, you relied on uh, your memory. Today you rely on your phone. The first color TV that we got, we got it from a tie store. You had maybe four, four channels, and then at 12 o'clock at night, the national anthem would start, you see the flag, and once the national anthem went off, the TV would black out. So you turned it off or it just like cut off? Well, you didn't have no option. I mean, if you didn't turn it off, it just made noise, but you didn't see no picture. As far as seeing people of color on uh, TV, it wasn't that many programs that we saw. The fact that we've evolved to like all of these options now, is that like a good thing? Or is that like, was it better back in the day when you just had four channels? I think it was better back in the day because number one, um, we didn't stay in the house to watch TV all day and we went out and played in our neighborhood and we was more of a neighborhood. The day you have TVs, you had iPads, where you don't have the connection that we have in our neighborhood. What's that? A car, okay. Okay. Like what's your first memory of like a car or like a road trip or like, did like tell me that story. Or did y'all do carriages? Did y'all do horses? No, uh, no. Was, the was, horse? No, no. y'all didn't, no, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> um, road trip was exciting to us because she was more of a family. Mm -hmm. um, we wasn't, we didn't go to uh, a carry out or a restaurant on our trips because back then it wasn't, I'm not gonna say we wasn't allowed, but it was a lot of hassle. And still going to a restaurant, we had to go to picnic tables out in the park or on your way down or drive or uh, eat in the car. Y'all can like take a road trip, be driving down south and just like stop and go in the store and get some food. Um, give you a good example, when I was um, in the military, coming back, we stopped at a restaurant and it was, uh, about maybe six or seven blacks in uniform and they refused to feed us. Back then it was kind of hard going certain places and get a decent meal so that's why even with my father he would travel at night because it wasn't as <clears throat> friendly as it is today to stop and eat where you want to eat. How did you navigate back in the day? Like, did you like have a physical map that you used? I never really had a map that I used to travel. Okay. Um, a lot of times when I was growing up, we, we made landmarks. And that's basically how we got around in town. Even if I go ahead and get around in town today, I do landmarks. We've gone from gas vehicles to uh, now we're in this phase where everyone's moving towards electric vehicles because it's better for the environment. There's no way we're getting 35 cent gas a gallon ever again in life. And so do you think that this evolution from gas to electric 
is a good thing or, an, or a not so good thing? I think it's a good thing. Um, I think it's better for our environment. Can you hear that? Do you hear anything? I don't hear anything. Can you hear anything? I hear nothing. Do you know that this, this vehicle's on right now? Can you hear it? Not at all. <laughs> all right. Do you wanna, do you wanna drive it? It'd be nice. It'd be nice? <laughs> all right, let's drive it. Let's do it. You know it sound like an airplane a little bit. Uh-huh. It's quiet. Yes. That's what I was saying. That's what you gotta get used to. I'm not hearing a whole lot. Mm -hmm. This episode of A Grand Time is brought to you by the fully electric Hyundai Ionic 5. 